Hello everyone, it's Raza Von Werder, a.k.a. Kelly Everts, and on this episode, number 29, I'm going to talk about two sleazy incidents of that were very, un, well, the first one was extremely unpleasant, the second one I did not understand, but uh, Angel prevented me from being sexually abused by my uncle. The first incident is my mother was selling the old farmhouse. And I had no idea what was going on. She, one day I come home from school and there is an old man in our house. He's like shorter than me. He's middle-aged, ugly, and he doesn't speak English. And this man who's, when I say old, I don't know, 60 or something, he follows me around the house touching me, trying to touch me, and I'm escaping him. And I have no idea who he is or what he's doing here. So for a while, I escape. My escape route was always the woods. I go in the woods for an hour and a half. I come back, he's still there. I don't know why he's there and why he's following me around because he's mumbling in another language. I don't even know what language it is, if it's Polish, Russian, but it's a language I don't know. It's not Lithuanian. I call up my girlfriend, just have someone to reach out to, and I tell her, there's a man in our house that's been following me, trying to touch me and fill me up for hours, and I don't know who he is and what to do. I should have called up Thorne's Milk Bar, but they never, it was something that I didn't do because it was never suggested to me that if you have an emergency or if you have a problem, call up. Because my mother was there and my brother was there and someone else in our household, I think, was there. Finally, 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 after hours of this ordeal, and it was one of the spookiest ordeals that I can ever remember, My brother or somebody comes to pick me up and I am taken to Thorne's Milk Bar. And it turns out that this sleazeball is the man who left his wife behind but came over to solidify the deal to buy the old farmhouse. And he's staying overnight. So he comes with his suitcase. I tried to tell my mother what happened and she wasn't listening. They were all talking and conferencing and I take my brother aside and I says, this old man, I don't, I, I, it's, it's a little bit confusing. I don't remember if I already understood what was going on. I, actually, I don't think I did understand. Still, I didn't know who the old man was. And I said to my brother, there's this old man in the house. He's been trying to fill me up. I'm spooked out. I don't know what to think, what to do. And he just poo-pooed me, like, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. And it was when we went home that I finally, somehow it slipped out that he was the man buying the house. I had to go in my mother's room to get something, and there he was. And they didn't even notice me. It was dark. It was like a little light bulb. And I was quiet. And I went to get something or do something. I don't know what. And there the sleazy guy was feeling up mom. But she let him. She wasn't avoiding him or trying to stop him. She was letting him feel her up. So I guess he was staying overnight and he was going to have sex with her. I don't know why. 
it didn't quite make sense, but that's one sleazy story. The other story is about my uncle. I'm going to tell you about this beautiful boy named Danny, who I was in love with, infatuated with, when I was 14. There's quite an anecdote that goes with him, but I'm going to skip the beginning anecdote and just go into my aunt, who, who I, I really liked my aunt, but later she went really sour on me. I really not only liked her, I really loved her. And, and uncle, too. Uh, she wanted to take us to this amusement park, which would have been incredible for me because I could have sat on rides with Danny. He was 19, beautiful, blonde, gorgeous, hottie, drop-dead gorgeous, sexy. And my aunt knew we could have been a couple. I think she sensed it. And she wanted to endorse that and enable it by taking us to, to an amusement park together. And there was another child, a little child, with us as well. <clears throat> My uncle refused, told him, you're not going. I think my uncle was jealous of me, that the boy would be with me. I think he, he had the hots for me, but he didn't want to say it. But he just wanted to cock block. My aunt got so mad at my uncle for not letting her take us, and I give her credit for this, I give her so much credit. She did not speak to my uncle for four days, didn't have sex with him either, didn't speak to him for four days, didn't have sex with him for four days. And of course, how are you going to have sex if you're not speaking to somebody? Of course you're going to deny him sex. I had to give her so much credit for that. Well, the next thing that happened was... My uncle sees me in the yard. I was 13 or 14. I'm not sure. 13 or 14. He says to me, you want to go for a ride? And that was a treat. I didn't think of anything sinister or evil. I go, yeah. So I get in the car and he starts driving around. And as I knew that my uncle hurt me, I knew he hurt me by not letting me go with Danny to the amusement park. And so I noticed my uncle kept stopping by dirt roads and slowing down. And then we're driving, he goes by another dirt road and slows down. And then he changes his mind to stop. I said, in my mind, I said, he is trying to stop somewhere so he can talk to me and apologize for not letting me go to the amusement park. Not let Danny go to the amusement park. But we never went to the amusement park because he wouldn't let, which proves to me that my aunt was trying to help me be together with Danny, who could have been my potential husband. He probably would have been my husband had it been encouraged. He was, by the way, a multi, multi-millionaire. <clears throat> so now my, my uncle stops, not stops, slows down and starts going again. And then slows down by the road, starts going again. Slows down by the road. I said he can't make up his mind to talk to me and apologize. So finally he takes me home and that's it. End the ride. It was years later when I became much more savvy that I understood my uncle was planning to sexually abuse me. He was looking for an opportune spot on a dirt road to pull in and sexually abuse me. And some agent of God, angel, saint, or some probably angel, stopped it. God didn't want me to be sexually abused. And that's my uncle, Uncle Henry Dagmar's aunt Dagmar's. <clears throat> 